which is great to see because you kind of see like this progression you see maybe an evolution even of of the craft itself hello guys and welcome to the infamous leak street um this is obviously a street art and graffiti tunnel it's kind of semi-legal i mean People have dubbed it a legal wall, and, and a legal wall, i.e. it's legal. But, I mean, technically it's not actually legal, it's, um, but it is tolerated. Um, the other name for it actually is the Banksy Tunnel, which I think some uh, graffiti purists will probably hate. It's called the Banksy Tunnel because in May 2008, he was kind of one of the original people, or within the space he'd um, created Cairns Festival, Cairns as in C A N S as in spray paint, uh, spray paint cans, i.e., graffiti street art. And yeah, Banksy did that in 2008, and ever since then it's kind of been open and kind of a free for all for anyone to take part in. Even you, you can come down and have a go. Um, I have painted in here, I've put on uh, also actually, yeah, so I've also put on uh, events in here. And down here, I've put on like an exhibition at the vaults. I've been in an exhibition here. I don't know if this place still exists. Um, but also, yeah, uh, even says when. Yep. Uh, even says here. So there's like even a piece here that I kind of helped create. Well, all of this actually. So not that, not that, not that. This from here. To here, yes. <laughs> um, I that was part of an exhibition that I did in the vaults down the way. They gave us permission, and uh, the guys at Vans. So right here is actually a skateboard, um, indoor kind of skateboard ramp. And just at the beginning, over there, which is why I'm down this side, they were like drilling and screwing together a, a massive um, skateboard ramp. Uh, you can probably hear it in the background every so often. That noise. Um, gosh. That noise. <laughs> so with, as part of that exhibition, I got Hannah, Wumi and Henrix, which is this kind of chili pepper explosive, uh, up on a scaffold, build a scaffold for them. Came down, it was like rainy and cold and wet. It was in December or something. Uh, and yeah, I had that all painted. Uh, my name is actually up there, right there. As like a little homage to me for getting them up there. It's great to see that it's still here. Uh, the date on there is 2015. So that's seven years ago. Uh, oh, there was also, Alno was also in the show there. That's kind of been painted over a little bit. There were a few others, and I painted, I painted down there somewhere, which also got painted over. I mean, the, it's kind of the nature of the beast, the, um, particularly the walls that everybody can access. Yeah, they get painted over and changed and evolve constantly, um, which is great to see, because you kind of see like this progression. You see maybe an evolution even of, of the craft itself, and you get to see um, different, mediums or different uh styles you know whether it's it looks like kind of paintbrush slash maybe roller drippiness or like characters with like spray paint or like the more i guess traditional uh wild style graffiti um you know and just i don't know abstract face man and like some you know more throw ups and stuff um yeah a lot going on oh yeah and this is uh, Mark Cray, so he kind of came along and did this just after we'd done all that. He was helping me uh, do kind of get the uh, the scaffold together with the guys at Van, so we could get up there. So yeah, he um, he painted this whole bit here, pretty epic. And then later on, um, they then added all these lights, which actually, oops, that way, which actually made. Um, a lot nicer you know it used to be really dark really dingy um 
but they, you know, they're very, I don't know, uh, kind of makes it a bit something, yeah, it changes, it changes it from like something that's like really raw to maybe something that's a bit more like on show. But I mean, it, yeah, it lights up the place really well. Shows the two hits fullest. Um, and yeah, the vaults, if you're ever around, it's not open at the moment. Um, I've been actually, I don't know if it's open anymore uh, since the, the C word was about, but maybe, maybe it's around. Still got the, the, the title up. They do kind of immersive uh, shows and performances and, you know, theater and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, if you're around and that's open, go in there, I do recommend it. Um, oh, what is this? Or what was this originally? So before Banksy, there was a before Banksy. Um, this is kind of like a, a railway tunnel. And above us, above us, is Waterloo Station. Um, and kind of off it are kind of like various railway uh, things. Things, things, things. Uh, I think that'll do. I'll just... Uh, do a bit of filming around try and capture some of the best bits that I can see and then I'll come back to you in a bit So that was Lee Street Tunnel. Uh, what do you think? So many, so much, so much. Oh, actually, there's another kind of friend of mine there. Uh, this one, he paints everywhere, all over the world. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like a great example of using your craft, your spray paint, street art, uh, to you know travel and you know kind of make a an existence <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say uh, yeah but so much color so many different styles so much creativity um, you know and it's all for free you know it doesn't cost any money to get in um, anyone can come uh, anyone can paint but do be warned like if you're um, not so not as strong as the others shall we say or if somebody just doesn't like your piece you will probably get painted over pretty quickly um my kind of and you know like i said i've, I've painted down here i've painted there i've painted there, i've painted i don't know probably about five six seven times down here um and i've done one grill of wallpaper as well so maybe i'll flash that up now uh it was something actually that i was mentioning in my other vlog, which was uh, just the, the South Bank vlog, if you saw that. Um, yeah, the, the spray painters, graffiti writers don't like um, the gorilla wallpapering because it kind of, I put wallpaper over top of people's stuff. And that's an example of, I'd put it up, done the, done the film, you know, because I record myself with this gorilla mask on, putting these things up. Um, and then literally walked away, five minutes later, he was 
tearing it down, spray painting over it, crushing it out. You know, it's just an example of uh, some people's something, you know. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, do be mindful that if you're going to go up, particularly along like the bits that people can reach, i.e. like this, from here, um, you're probably going to get painted over. Uh, my rule of thumb, how I used to, oh, it's pretty sad saying, I used to spray paint, was if I felt that there was a piece that I could do better than, no, sorry, if I felt that my piece that I had in my head was stronger than the piece that was on the wall, then I felt that I could paint over it. I.e. if it was a mess, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, they have place, they have place. But yeah, I wouldn't paint over, for example, something like this face, for example, because I find that that is, I couldn't do much better, you know? Um, whereas if it's a scribble or if like, you know, it's an obvious mess or just someone doesn't have the skill, generally speaking, if you're, from, from my point of view, if you're going to improve the wall, then it's kind of free for all. But obviously some people don't really see it that way. They just want to uh, make their mark wherever and as big as they can. Um, okay, that'll probably do. Uh, yeah, maybe comment down below, tell me like which was your favorite piece. I really do like this guy. I think he's my favorite at the moment. I don't know who the artist is. I don't know, it looks like a collaborative piece there. Um, what's known as a party wall. So a party wall is when there's like multiple artists or multiple writers or street artists that um, collaborate on a single wall and then kind of blend their styles together. Uh, you know, into kind of making one big mural. Um, yeah, so that's it. Comment down below, which is your favorite? Uh, you know, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing, uh, like it, share it. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And until then, keep on drifting.